Right, so in this video, I'm going to be covering my void loadout that I tend to intend on bringing into the final shape. Um, this is just something that I do personally, and, that, and perhaps it'll help you out as well. Um, I like to play into like the certain elements uh, and like the void fantasy, for example. So if I'm on, if I'm on, a, if I'm on a void build, I like to synergize with my build uh, by using void weapons. And I don't always stick to this uh, OCD type of rule that I have for myself. Uh, but I like to play all 15 subclasses, and generally when I do play those subclasses, I like to synergize the weapons with the build, so that's my personal preference. Obviously, Prismatic is going to shake this up a lot, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, but the other thing that I like about this is that uh, I can load into the game at any time and say I'm just in the mood to play Void Titan, right, since I'm already on Void Titan. Well, I could just equip this loadout that I've made on Dim, right, and uh, I have all my options covered. Right, and I could be efficient with my mods. Right, I can be efficient with uh, void targeting. Vo well, this is specifically for DPS. This loadout here, but harmonic siphon, harmonic scavenger, uh, all the harmonic mods are just going to synergize nicely, and you're going to save energy and potentially be able to do more with your build because you're synergizing your weapons with your subclass. Um, so it's just my fun way of playing, and it's effective. Like I could still. I could still uh, go into random pubs or uh, LFG raids and I can be on the top of the damage board or, or you know, I, I can perform adequately in any scenario and then game PvE with these loadouts uh, and it's just a fun way to play. So, uh, the weapons that I'm covering here, like I said, they're gonna meant to cover all bases, so uh, add clear, burst damage, long range precision damage, short range uh, damage, um, utility like shoot to loot disorienting type stuff like that uh, different types of bosses you need different types of damage uh, champion stuns right we already know the seasonal artifact for next season so hand cannons right I've got word of crota here just to get into it we have overload hand cannons this season 180s are generally probably going to be better for stunning overloads because it's a higher fire rate so you're going to be able to to apply disruption and overload more often uh, so it should be very consistent there. I've actually got four of these crafted, one adept, three regular, um, and so I'm not necessarily recommending that you bring this roll specifically, but generally speaking, Repulsor Brace and Destabilizing Rounds is very good on any subclass, but especially on Titan. Um, good for ad clear, it's just automatic, right? You make targets volatile, you kill them, you get an overshield, very nice, uh, but you know, you can switch it out for like uh, damage perks if you want, depends what you want, really. Uh, then Le Monarch, because Le Monarch is, uh, I think this is my highest enemies defeated weapon uh, in the game. It's just super good. I mean, it has intrinsic overload, right? So if I don't want to use a hand cannon, uh, Le Monarch is, is just absolutely amazing, especially with Unrelenting as well. It's just an additional way to, uh, to get healing, so that's nice. Um, then we've got Father Sins, and I recommend on basically every one of these uh, elemental specific loadouts that you carry at least one sniper rifle and one fusion rifle. Um, and I don't have a fusion rifle on this one because there aren't really any good void fusions, but uh, Father Sin's pretty good. It's good for uh, proccing cascade point if you're doing like a, if you have like a cascade point GL, for example, uh, but it's also just good for backup damage, you know, for total damage, having triple tap and sustained damage for having focused fury. So, uh, yeah, pretty good sniper there. It's a rapid fire as well, so you know technically has uh, the better DPS out of all the snipers and total damage. Psycho hacks also a nice origin trait. It gives you a little bit of uh, damage resistance from the targets that you're shooting, kind of like sever, kind of like overload. So it's a nice origin trait there. Um, then I've got graviton lance because we have anti-barrier pulse rifles. Not that I use this. Uh, I don't use Graviton a whole lot, um, just because I'm not a huge fan of the sound of it, and the, it's just kind of a goofy weapon to me. But uh, you know, I, I get that it's extremely effective. It's extremely popular, so that's why I've decided to include it here. Uh, Buried Bloodline. I've still yet to get the catalyst because I'm too busy making videos for you guys. So go ahead and like the video. Um, but yeah, Buried Bloodline. We uh, we have anti-barrier or sorry we have unstoppable sidearms this season so yet again we're getting a season where sidearms are going to benefit from the you know the overcharged weapons mods having 25 percent more damage um, and being able to stun champs so that's kind of nice but buried bloodline is also uh, as you can see i've yet to use it but 
uh, I know what it does. You can get Devour on any subclass, so not just good for Void, good for any class, but, you know, uh, we're, we're covering Void here specifically. So I would recommend if you got one, you bring it, right? Because this is better than all of the other Void sidearms in the game, uh, regardless of whether or not they're only primary ammo. Then I've got a Briah's Love here, and if you want, you can bring Doom of Chalchus. The only re like Doom of Chalchus is a better scout rifle with much better damage perks, um, and generally I prefer Doom of Chalchus. Like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna lean into my scout rifle for ad clear or anything like that, I'll bring Doom of Chalchus. But uh, the reason why I have a scout is because we're getting unstoppable scout. Um, and the other reason is it has shoot to loot. So as I mentioned in my other videos, I recommend that you bring at least one shoot to loot weapon uh, with every loadout. So that way you, you can pick up armor charge, orbs of power, orbs of power for devour at long range. Uh, and you know, ammo will pick up ammo, pick uh, reload your weapons. Uh, yeah, so I, I think just having shoot to loot is just a really good idea. And if you can double it, uh, double its purpose, like by having it uh, stun a type of champion, you know, that's really good. Explosive payload obviously synergizes with shoot to loot, so you can pick up items in a wider uh, range without being super accurate. So that's kind of nice. Then, uh, as I was mentioning, I don't have a good void fusion rifle. I, I have a Snorri that I like with compulsive reload and reservoir burst, which is really good for you know instant burst burst damage. Uh, but generally speaking, Wilder Flight um, I think does the job pretty much equally. Uh, you, with the double fire frame, like it does a lot of chunk damage. Um, and if I wanted to, I can always switch to spike and do even more damage. Uh, but I mean, this is this is doubling as a close to medium range burst damage option, which I can also fit into a damage rotation versus a boss, right? Uh, like with uh, bait and switch, for example, right? Or just crowd control. So, I mean, this, this is literally good for for a lot of things it's good for champs it's good for crowd control it's good for bosses um not so much red bars because you know but it's good for controlling red bars and and, and everything so wilder flight's just a really good weapon in general uh, so you could bring that in then i've got a recluse here which has the same role as my word of crota and you know the perks are up to you. I'm just recommending that you bring at least one void SMG because we also have anti-barrier SMGs, right? On top of having anti-barrier uh, pulses. So good idea to bring that in. Also doubles as extremely good for ad clear, right? Um, especially in lower, uh, lower difficulty content like normal raids, normal dungeons where you have a lot of trash ads that are very easy to kill while an SMG is plenty sufficient there, right? So. Uh, bring bring an SMG with you and then I've got Elsie's rifle in here uh, I'm gonna have to test this out but if you saw my arc video previously I was discussing under over um, so I have a Philo tactic spiral which is the arc pulse rifle from Neo Muna uh, with almost this exact same role with it's a high impact frame as well and I've got under over with volt shot but you can also do under over with frenzy on file tactic and it's pretty good so lc's i'm going to try the same thing here we have anti-barrier pulse right so i have armor piercing rounds i have under over which does 50 percent more damage to shielded enemies uh and frenzy for additional damage right so this is this could potentially uh break barrier shields very fast so i'm looking forward to using that um and also it's an option if i can't use graviton lance right um so then on to the heavies, uh, edge transit, you should definitely bring an edge transit with you since heavy GLs are pretty much, uh, you know, meta for, for, for damage versus bosses, especially for solo too, and you're not benefiting from like wolf pack rounds. Um, I've got better roles than this, but this is a, uh, this is a role that unfortunately I don't have spike or, or, um, yeah, I don't have spike here, which is, which is a bummer. But um, if you've got a good role with Envious or Cascade Point and Bait and Switch, you'll definitely want to bring that. But Field Prep and Auto Loading are also very good, right? So I can go around uh, pre-damage phase in a raid or a dungeon. I can get a ton of ammo from Field Prep. And then when it comes time to do damage, I can just switch to Auto Loading. And I can uh, do a total, like I could do a mag dump, right? 
with a backup mag since boss spec is going away. Uh, shoot seven bait and switch rocket uh, grenades, and then I can just switch to a good special weapon and do some damage there, and then come back to this and have my uh, my mag reloaded. So auto loading is still a very good perk, uh, and and it's a little bit more universal. Uh, more consistent than Envious Assassin. Obviously, if you die with Envious Assassin, then you lose all of your overflowed ammo. Um, if your enemy, if your teammates take your kills from you, you might not be able to overflow the mag with Envious. So, and then um, Cascade Point is a good option as well. But um, yeah, that's up to you. If you can, if you can get those precision hits to proc Cascade Point and Bait and Switch, then obviously that's going to be a killer combo. Right, I have all those edge transits. It's just uh, I can't equip them all at the same time. But this is um, this shiny here is just good for basically anything. The only thing it's missing, like I said, is spike grenades. Um, then I've got a Doom Petitioner, and I've got a few rolls of these, but um, I'm going to be bringing in my Reconstruction Surrounded for, like I explained with Briar's Contempt in the Solar video. Oftentimes you'll get a you'll get a damage, uh, you'll get an encounter versus a boss where you can easily proc Surrounded, and maybe it's like a wizard and you're on a div bubble. Well, you can do a lot of damage with uh, the Surrounded perk, regardless of Linears being, um, you know, inferior to Rockets and Heavy GLs. So you'll, you'll want at least one long range precision uh, type, of, a type of weapon. So whether it's a machine gun or a linear, you're going to want something there. So that's my recommendation. Uh, and then to that note, here's my machine gun of choice. I recommend a machine gun, a machine gun on every single uh, loadout, right? And whether it's arc, void, it doesn't matter. Like you, you want a machine gun on every single loadout. You want some good option for ad clear. Uh, so commemoration is going to fit that role for me. Reconstruction, killing tally. This is just my general universal role for commemoration, which works on any any class. Um, <clears throat> very good. Then uh, we've got overload swords, and uh, just in general, I recommend that you bring a sword anyway for for boss damage where applicable, like you know Crota. Um, dungeon bosses etc heart shadow is a little bit trickier to use but you could do a damage rotation with a uh, shotgun or uh, wilder flight you know as long as you got a good special weapon to combine with your heart shadow heavy swings you can do some pretty good damage there um, next up i've got leviathan's breath so whereas doom petitioner is a little bit better for closer range precision damage because it's an aggressive frame so it's got a little bit of recoil with those burst shots uh, this is, you know, situational to uh, to that aggressive frame and to being surrounded. Well, Leviathan's breath breath is going to cover long range precision damage uh, very well. Like Leviathan's breath is just a very good heavy uh, void weapon in general. Uh, very applicable to a, a lot of different uh, encounters. So I would recommend that you bring one of those. Then I've got a falling guillotine here with frenzy and surrounded. This is the uh, max damage god roll that you can get: 15% from frenzy, uh, 40 plus damage from surrounded. Both enhanceable in the final shape, so this could be fun to use. Uh, then I've got an other half, but if you've got a good falling guillotine like a shiny, you can also get one with eager edge. In which case, you wouldn't need uh, the other half. So the only reason I'm using the other half here so I have a uh, void sword weapon with eager edge basically then I've got a Braytech Osprey here with auto loading and bipod with the option to put envious and nightfall weapons are going to be enhanceable in the final shape according to Bungie so this is going to become even better uh, high impact frame rocket launchers are not the best for boss damage but they are the best for ad clear in general uh, and rockets in general doesn't matter what frame it is are always good versus uh you know mini bosses champions um you know chunky targets that aren't like you know dungeon and raid bosses basically so very good utility rocket launcher to bring into uh, nightfalls and uh, just content in general then i've got truth here and the only reason i have it equipped and i've never even used it uh, is because apparently Bungie has stated that this thing is getting a buff and or a catalyst and uh, yeah they're they're hyping it up for some reason so might want to uh, explore what it can do in the final shape maybe it's going to be very good but it, I think it shares the same frame as like Braytech so it could 
you know, it could fill the role of uh, just very good for ad clear and, and just general uh, utility, uh, but maybe still not super good on uh, dungeon or raid bosses. But yeah, so that covers my void, my void arsenal. Next, I'll cover uh, stasis and strand. So I will see you over in those videos. Take care.